light takes place. So liquid crystal cells are of two types. One is transmissive type and second one is reflective type. The transmissive type means uh, in the transmissive transmittive type uh, cell, both the glass sheets are transparent so that light from a real source is scattered in the forward direction when the cell is activated. So transmittive type means that it is going to allow light to pass through. So when I'm going to uh, show light on a liquid crystal display, it will in the rear side, rear side means in the back side, it will that it will be allowed to pass through the front side and the cell is going to be activated. So light will be transmitted from the rear side to the forward side. That is transmittive type cell. In the reflective type cell, I am going to have a reflecting surface on one side of the cell, one side of the glass sheet. So incidence uh, light on the front sheet is dynamically scattered and activated by, by an activated cell. So both types of cells acquire, uh, appear quite bright when activated under ambient light conditions. So the transmittive type, both the glass sheets are transparent, but in reflective type, one glass sheet is coated with a reflecting material. So that will also reflect the light. So what happened? The cell appears even more bright. So the incident light will on the front surface of cell is dynamically scattered by an activated cell. So both the cells will appear bright under ambient lighting conditions. So uh, it is uh, completely dependent on how I am going to orient the cells by applying voltage. So by applying proper voltage, I can orient the cells along the particular direction. So if the electric field is applied, the orientation takes place and uh, the thing is going to be opaque. The entire uh, liquid crystal is going to be opaque. The so opaque means it will not allow light to pass through. When the cell is not activated, all the liquid crystal molecules are randomly aligned so which will result in the light to pass through thereby illuminating your liquid crystal display so now we are going to come to the technical aspects of uh, liquid crystal display so they are going to consume very very small amount of energy see we don't have the concept of power here power or current or whatever it is it is going to work clearly based on the crystal alignment only and you are going to give some supply voltage right so they consume a very very small amount of energy so in a seven segment display the current drawn is 25 microamperes for dynamic scattering cells and the 300 milliamperes for field effect cells the lcds require ac voltage supply okay so the current drawn is very very less for dynamic scattering type lcd it is 25 microamps only whereas it is 300 milliamperes for field effect type lcd displays and LCDs require AC voltage because when you want to change the orientation for every cycle, I cannot use DC supply because DC supply will have a constant voltage. So if I want to change the alignment of the molecules, I have to go for AC supply which will have directions varying with time. So typical uh, voltage which supply to dyna dynamic scattering LEDs is 30 volt peak to peak with 50 hertz. So 50 hertz is our power supply. The pump power supply, uh, you get 230 volt. You step down that 230 to 30 and give us input to your LCD. So LCDs are normally used for seven segment display. So mostly seven segment display type L LCDs are used in the uh, market and all your calculators you can see they are all LCDs. So all your calculators this uh, displays are LCD display. So they have a liquid crystal inside and the seven segments are available. So depending on which segment is activated, that particular segment will become transparent or opaque. So you can see when you type a number in the calculator, two, if you type two, you can see dark color. Uh, the seven segments corresponding to two will be highlighted by dark color, which means that you are giving supply to that particular seven segment. So when you give supply, the cell becomes opaque. Opaque means it is not transparent. But if you turn off your calculator completely and see the display, you can see all the seven segments will be transparent. That is the fundamental logic of LCD right? So when I am not giving any voltage, the cell is transparent. When I am giving some voltage to a particular uh, cell, that cell becomes opaque. So opaque means it will turn dark in color. Transparent means you will be able to see through the liquid crystal. Advantages of LCD, you know the voltages required are very small. They have a very, very low power consumption. And a typical seven segment display requires 140 volt. 140 volt is 20 watts per segment. Because uh, for to align all the liquid crystals molecules in a particular uh, direction, you need a very strong electric field. So that is why it requires 20 watts per segment. Whereas LEDs will require very, very less power, 40 millivolt per numeral. 
So for LEDs, you require totally only 40 milliwatt, but in seven segment display for LCD, it requires 140 watts. So they are economical, okay? And disadvantages, LCDs are very, very slow. So they don't uh, turn on and turn off very fast. They take a lot of time to turn on and turn off. Okay, so they are very, very slow device because the liquid crystals cannot be immediately polarized along a particular direction. And if they are polarized, means if you turn off the voltage, they will it will take some time for them to become randomly polarized. So the turn on time is uh, typically in the order of few milliseconds. This few milliseconds is not uh, it's not going to make a big impact for us because our eye cannot detect uh, uh, things which are very, very smaller in time scale, right? So a few milliseconds, this, if you ask you to switch on your calculator, you can see the thing, the uh, zero is appearing instantly, which means that we it will appear as though, right, the LCD is working instantly, but it takes a very, very uh, small time delay. It is in the order of milliseconds, or the turn off time is 10 milliseconds. So for turning on, the time required is three milli a few milliseconds. For turning off, it is 10 milliseconds. When used on DC, their lifespan is quite small. Therefore, they are often used with the AC supply with frequency less than 50 hertz. Because here, orientation is very, very important in LCD. Orientation means direction. So if I want to change the direction, I cannot use them with DC for a long time. So I have to connect them naturally the AC supply and typically the frequency what is available to us is 50 Hertz so you can use LCDs for uh, uh, with AC supply which is uh, having a frequency less than 50 Hertz so they occupy a large area so that is a drawback they occupy a large area because the LCD boards you have seen LCD displays are very large but LED displays are very very compact so they occupy a very very large